Many people are familiar with RRP in terms of recommended retail price, but what if we took that concept in terms of essentially buying gifts and buying presents as a replacement for somebody's presence in their lives and we then took it a step further and made it into a concept or a theory that was beneficial for us moving forward. So when we look at RRP in terms of recommended retail price we will go out we'll buy gifts we'll buy food we'll celebrate and we generally tend to associate it in that manner. But if we took RRP and broke it down, a lot of this is basically centered around reward and punishment. So we then have obviously the middle R and the end P in that concept. But when we look at it from a perspective of self, there must be more for us to gain or step into from that perspective. So we need the original R at the very beginning. So if we make the concept of RRP actually required realization points, then what we need to do is we need to put in that first point. So that first point then comes back to the fact of if we operate within reward and punishment, then what goes beyond that that allows us to step out of cycles and step out of patterns that then give us a perceived notion that we are doing well or we're fitting in or we're in a position of acceptance and then taking it a stage further so that we can develop and we can grow as individuals. And that first element then becomes risk because you have the punishment which is the result of taking an action. You have the reward which is the result of taking an action. But within that, where is the actual taking of the action. So this is why we need that risk element at the very beginning. And that risk element at the beginning that is basically the action is then going to take us to a position whereby we're doing things that we might not normally do. So it's behaviors that we're changing and we're adapting. It will be choices that we're making differently and it will be avenues and paths that we're following. So when we look at it overall, we can then go back to creating a concept or a theory that is actually beneficial for us and therefore we operate within the parameters of risk, reward, punishment. And now the question is, do you make choices differently and where also do you sit within that structure and how do you take the next steps to creating the next element of your life? But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.